First Things First is sponsored by Ram Trucks. Built to serve. First things first, did Derrick Henry run his way to the MVP? Nick is beside himself this morning. The Cleveland Browns are back in the playoffs, so why is Baker still unsatisfied? And Chase Young makes it known he wants a piece of Thomas Edward Patrick Brady. Good morning, everyone. Jenna Wolf, Kevin Wilds, Brandon Marshall, and Nick Wright. And Nick, I ask you this, should Brady be scared? Oh, he shouldn't be scared. He should be terrified, Jenna. You see that man? Coming after him. Coming after him. Oh, my goodness. Well, speaking of Chase Young, we start in Philadelphia last night's game. Washington needed a win to get in. An Eagles win, and the Giants were in, which made it all the more head-scratching when Doug Peterson pulled quarterback Jalen Hurts, trailing by only three early in the fourth. Nate Sudfeld came in and pretty much handed the win and the division to Washington. Afterwards, rumors swirling, centering around draft positioning for the Philadelphia Eagles. So what were you thinking, Doug Peterson? Yes, I was coaching and win to win. Uh, yes, that was my decision solely. Um, Nate has uh, obviously been here for uh, four years, um, and uh, I felt that uh, he, he deserved an opportunity to uh, to get some to get some snaps and um, um, listen uh, if if there's anything out there that that thinks that I was not trying to win the game I mean you know Ertz is out there Brandon Graham's out there Darius Slay's out there you know all our top guys are still on the field at the end so uh, we were we were going to win the game. Meanwhile, Jalen's like, I still have a few questions, Coach. So, uh, Nick, let me start with you. What was your reaction to Doug Peterson saying he was, quote, coaching to win last night? Yeah, I, I understand the collective outrage of everyone from the broadcasters to the fans to players on the opposing team or the team fighting in the playoffs. And this, you had a coach play a clearly inferior quarterback when that game was going to drastically impact whether or not another team got into the postseason. And the team that missed out on the postseason wasn't a nothing team. It was the 10-6 and six Miami Dolphins because that's what Mike Tomlin did and nobody cares. The hell are we talking about? Yeah, yeah. Like this happens all the time in week 17. <laughs> Guess what, Giants? Yeah. Guess what, Giant fans? <laughs> you know why you missed the playoffs? Because you were 31st in the NFL in points. Yeah, yeah. You know why you missed the playoffs? Because you started 1-7. and seven. And then when you finally started playing well in December, you lost three games in a row where you scored two touchdowns. Doug Peterson owes the Giants nothing. Now, yeah. if I'm an Eagles fan, would I have wanted to see Jalen try to execute a fourth quarter comeback? I think I would have. If I'm an Eagles of fan, course. is there an argument to be made that Doug Peterson made the wrong choice for his team? Yeah, I'll listen to that argument. But this idea that he did a disservice to the Giants, who the hell cares? Doug Peterson don't work for the Giants. <laughs> he has no loyalty to the yeah. Giants. The Giants should have handled their own business at any other point. He wanted to get Nate Sudfeld in the game for whatever reason it was, whether it was to help draft positioning, whether it was to look at him as a backup quarterback, or even if it was just to stick it to Carson Wentz. Don't care. He's allowed to do whatever he wants in Week 17. So I don't understand, Brandon, why people are acting like Week 17 yeah. in the NFL is this is this time where every team always is doing everything they can to win when we saw throughout the NFL that's not how the week goes yeah look I'll be quick here because I want to get Wild's reaction because he seems distraught over what you're saying. <laughs> There's only a little bit that I can add to what you're saying because I, I see this the same way, Nick. To me, this is a Week 17 game where there is nothing on the line for the Philadelphia Eagles besides messing up their draft uh, 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 position and also not seeing what they have. And the reality is Doug Peterson, Wilds, he can't say 
the truth. You know this. How many times have we seen head coaches and players stand, in, stand at the podium, talk to the media, and not say what's really on their mind? So what Doug Peterson uh, uh, could have said, but probably got a lot of pushback, is like, look, guys, I can care less about the Giants. Nick, you just talked about that. I don't get paid by them, all right? They don't pay me. The, the Tisch family, uh, uh, they don't pay me. So when you look at this situation for me, I'm looking at what's best for my team long term. You have a quarterback in Nate Sudfield who's been on that roster for four years, and you don't know what you have. He is an unrestricted free agent. So I need to see what this guy has. He can potentially yes. turn into I mean. uh, 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 trade capital. He could potentially be our backup quarterback. So I need to see if I'm going to pay him three, four million to back up Jalen Hurts. So, so wow, I think that this was an okay decision, and I also think that it was best for the organization. Okay, what has happened? I, I thought 2020 was a terrible year, but we're off to a horrible start in 2021. <laughs> Nick is saying, and I'm sorry, Nick, I don't like to start the show by saying terrible take under my breath when you compare it to Ben Roethlisberger, no, who's fine. resting for the playoffs. If sitting Jalen Hurts, who also is the future. So, Brandon, I get like seeing what you got. Jalen Hurts has completed 77 passes. Is the report card done on Jalen Hurts? Wouldn't you like to see what he looks like with a fourth quarter comeback? We, we were ripping Brian Flores for pulling two out of the game to put in Ryan Fitzpatrick. And now you're going to put in Sudfeld and the idea that you don't know yeah, what you, you know got what you for have, four years. Though. You don't, But you Brandon. know what you have, you, Wiles. He's never I mean, had a I mean, fourth quarter like, comeback. Wouldn't you like to see that? Another quarter... Yeah, but another quarter, another quarter, would another quarter tell us who Jalen Hurts is? At this point now, they know what he does well and what he needs to work on. Where's his challenges? So they're going to take the information from the last couple games, go into the offseason and say, okay, here's the notes. Here's where you where you need to get better. So, no, I don't think another quarter would have put them in a okay. better position. Like, this was the right thing to do for the organization because you have but, Nate Sutfield. Do I pay this guy three, four, five million dollars? Do you beat a backup? Mm -hmm. Do we let That's this guy ride? Four years. But hold on. But, but hold on. Yeah, but Jenna, he hasn't. He hasn't had. Any, he, has, he hasn't had any game Wait. time. He has. He's had no real reps. But also, people aren't mad because the, he did the Eagles a disservice. They're mad by proxy because the Giants, the six and ten Giants, oh. the zero and five to start yeah. the season, <laughs> one and seven in the yeah. midway point Giants got screwed here. By the way. Doug Peterson, if he was thinking about the Giants, you know what maybe he was thinking about? Guess what? The Giants would have Chase Young on their team if what? If they didn't win in week 17 last year and cost themselves that pick. So for a million mm, reasons, I understand, I understand what Doug Peterson's doing. Week 17, Wilds, is weird. Week 17, we had the Seahawks. They could have taken knees. Russell Wilson throws a pass to David Moore to get him an incentive. <laughs> you had Tom Brady doing shovel passes to Antonio Brown. Not a lot of people talked about it, but week 17, you had the Saints let a contest winner take reps at quarterback. What? Oh, that was Taysom Hill. My bad. But still, what? the point holds. Oh, oh, oh. Week like, 17 wait, wait, is weird. What? You had me week going. 17, you can't, <laughs> if you go into the week needing someone else to help you out, you might be screwed. And by the way, Jenna, if they leave Jalen yeah. in, it's Control not like it's a destiny. sure thing the Eagles win. They gave, they gave Jalen a chance to take the lead, and he threw a ball in the dirt. He completed seven passes in this football game. It's not like he was on fire. So I just, I, I, people don't like Doug Peterson for maybe reasonable reasons, but I just think the outrage here is misplaced. I get it. Yeah. It's, not, it's not a sacred week, Nick. I think you make a good point. And if Doug Peterson wanted to lose the game, he would have started Carson Wentz. But if you want to see that much of Sudfeld, then start him in the second half and give him a full half to go. To yes. take him out in the fourth quarter. That's is what I was going to say. Put him in That's for a fair. Full half. That's, That's fair. That's fair. All right, That's we'll fair. have much more on this still to come. we got to take a turn and talk some Derrick Henry. Just when you thought we were done with the days of the 2000s. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a star, shining bright as in the darkest times. I'm a star, twinkle, twinkle. I bring the sparkle in, light your world up. 
Yeah, 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 let your world 